Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. A light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine within your people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face, you who sing creation's story, shine on every land and race. stars that grace the darkness in the blazing sun of dawn in the light of peace and wisdom we can hear your quiet song love that fills the night with wonder love that warms the weary soul love that bursts all chains asunder set us free and make us shine with gentle justice. Let us each reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle Christ who lights our way. Loving spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless days. May God be with you all. And also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right, right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways. And you are the light and life of all creation. Oh, 
come before you, O God, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. The Holy Gospel, going to the 12th chapter of St. Luke. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, Friend, who sent me to be a judge and arbiter over you? Over you? And he said to them, Take care. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed, for one's life does not consist of the abundance of possessions. And he told them a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly, and he thought to himself, what should I do, for I have no place to store my crops? Then he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich toward God. He said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither snow. They either neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouses nor barn. And yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than these birds? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? If then you are not able to do a small thing as that, Why do you worry about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which are alive today and tomorrow are thrown into the forest, into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink. And do not keep worrying. For it is the nations of the world that strive after all these things. And your Father knows that you need them. Instead, strive for his kingdom. And these things will be given to you as well. Do not be afraid, little flock. For it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out. An unfailing treasure in heaven. Where no no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The Gospel of our Lord. God's grace and mercy unto you from our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. I could not 
get past the irony of having to preach this week and preach on this text, considering that we live up in Florence, Florence Heights area. And in Florence, there have been built not one, but two new storage units for people to store all their stuff. I'm not sure how full they are yet, but they seem to have a good amount of traffic. And I always remember one of my favorite George Carlin routines is his routine about having all this stuff. And what do you do with it? What do you do with your stuff? What a burden it becomes as you think about that stuff. I thought about our own home where we're still in the process of going through the stuff that we inherited from Ronnie's mom 20 some years ago. We still have boxes that we haven't even gone through yet. This part of the stuff we own. What do we do with it? How do we, how do we take care of it? Ronnie found a creative way this last Christmas. She went and found a bunch of old German Bibles. And so she started cutting up Bibles and now we have, she made all these garlands out of different characters that are cut out of old German Bibles. So um, I'm not sure how appropriate that is, that use is of the Word of God, uh, that you create these garlands made that you hang around your house. But there, there are nine of those that are hanging with different members of our family and friends that Ronnie made this last year. A creative way of using our stuff and in a way that, that did bring joy to others. But it was by giving that stuff away that that, was, that joy was created. Not by hanging on to it and trying to figure out what are we supposed to do with, with old German Bibles that we can't even read. So... What do we do with our stuff? And with our desire to have often what our culture says and what our society says is that we want to have more stuff. That it's important that we go out and consume more stuff. We buy more stuff. That's, that's our value. That's what keeps our economy going as a country is us wanting to go out and buy more stuff. Because if we're spending money and buying more stuff, we're putting money into the economy, and it keeps us all employed, it keeps us all uh, wealthy, is what they will tell us. So when we look at this text in light of who we are and how we live. It really puts a bite on us. What is, what is it that we're supposed to do with this text in our lives? When we live in a country, in a world that is all about getting more stuff. How do we live with that? How do we do that? Jesus says, we, we give it away as best we can. We live free of worry, free of fear about having enough stuff. 
We don't put our identity in the stuff we own. We don't put our identity in the house we live in, in the car we drive, in the clothes we wear. That isn't who we are. You know, our, our society likes to tell us that. I mean, because you know, they have, we have all these programs now and with computers, they keep track of all the stuff you buy and so they claim to know more about you than you know about yourself because they've got record of all the stuff you've bought. And somehow that is supposed to be your identity. That is who you are. But Jesus tells us, no. No. It isn't about the stuff you have, the stuff you own, the stuff you accumulate, even the stuff you accomplish. That isn't who you are. You are a child of God. You are one whom God gives, gives to you abundantly all that you need. Everything that you need is given to you, given to you by your God. And so as we think about moving towards Easter and towards, towards Good Friday with the cross and Easter with the empty tomb, we do so free of our stuff. We don't have to carry our stuff with us. As we journey to the cross and the empty tomb. We are free of that, knowing that God will provide what we need. And as we, as we look to that journey and to coming to the end of that journey during the next couple of weeks, as we move into Holy Week, as we move towards the cross and the empty tomb. We do so not in fear, but in great faith, in great trust. In great trust that God will, try, will provide all that we need. All that we need in this life. One of my all-time favorite hymns that um, I wasn't introduced to until the, the Green Hymnal came out. I don't remember it as from my childhood, but once I ran across it in the old LBW, the old Green Hymnal, hymn that is called Have No Fear, Little Flock. Wonderful hymn. I used to be able to sing it all from memory, but not so much anymore. But I do remember the first line of that hymn that says, have no fear, little flock. Have no fear, little flock. For the Father has chosen to give you the kingdom. Have no fear, little flock. When you think about how vast the universe is, and that God is in charge of, of creating all of that. That that is all a part of God's kingdom. And that all has been given to us. I don't know exactly how we are supposed to enjoy all of that. But it's all ours. It's all been given to us. By a God who loves us beyond measure. And frees us, frees us to live, exploring 
God's kingdom. Exploring God's universe. Exploring God's love. God's love for us. And for all. For all creation. Amen. Upon the wind there comes a call, a whisper soft and low, a lonesome cry that fills the night and echoes through the soul. It stirs the The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth, to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God. I live to do in you. You have looked with love on your 
God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. God's peace be with you always. And also with you.